how to see real entrepreneur uh, uh, and uh, how to see talker how uh, how to see difference between two kind of, of entrepreneur real and talker you live in San Francisco in Silicon Valley and uh, uh, you know you know a lot of about uh, uh, successful and uh, maybe not successful people in that uh, the most known valley in the world see there are a lot of posers what i call posers i used to live in san francisco and san francisco is you know you know is part of the Silicon Valley area. Technically, it's north of Silicon Valley, but it basically it's part of the Silicon Valley economy. And on one hand, there are a lot of cool companies, startups and things happening in Silicon Valley and San Francisco. On the other hand, San Francisco is full of what I call posers. A poser is someone who pretends, pretenders. They're pretending to be entrepreneurs, but they're fake. Okay, there are, for every one real entrepreneur in San Francisco, there are probably 10 posers, 10 fakes who will never start their business or who will start and crash very quickly. How can you tell? I've noticed a pattern between the real and the fakes. The fakes, usually they want the nicest office right they want to immediately right when they begin they want to start renting a very nice expensive office and they want to immediately have the nice expensive furniture in their office high overhead right immediately they're starting with high expenses they buy expensive clothes fashionable clothes to look good they buy the most expensive computers and technology they spend large amounts of money on their website right at the beginning another thing I've noticed they have big business plans they love to talk about their big big business plan and they're writing their business plan and it's many 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 pages that's a, a good sign that probably they're fake not always, you know, for if someone's doing a very large startup, you know, millions of dollars and they have experience, maybe they do some of things. But for most of the small entrepreneurs, just one or two or three people, a big business plan is usually a sign that they're fake. Another huge sign that they're fake, that they're posers, that they're pretenders, or they're waiting for investors. They're always talking about investors. They're going to have their big business plan so they can get investors and I just need to get investors and when I get investors I'm going to start and we're looking for investments this is usually a sign of bullshit okay of nonsense again at the large level sometimes not but for the small level people like you and me and most of us it's a sign of pretending The biggest sign of pretenders compared to real entrepreneurs, the biggest sign is they have lots and lots of big ideas. They're always talking about their big ideas, their amazing idea that nobody else knows about, that nobody else has. Big ideas, talking, 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 and no action. They never seem to do anything. They never seem to actually do it. It's always talking and the talk is so big, 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 talk, 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 big, big talkers. That's not what real entrepreneurs do. Let me tell you what most real entrepreneurs do. And when I say real, I mean people who actually start businesses. They really do it. They start. They don't just talk forever. They really do it. And number two, they have a good chance of success. They survive for a while. They really compete. They make a strong effort to survive. Now, you, it's never 100%. There's always a chance to fail, okay? But, but 
the talkers never even, you know, get in the game, really. So the thing I've noticed about most of the small, again, we're talking about small, like one or two or three people starting a business like you, like me, or freelancers. Well, number one, they're lean, okay? They cut their overhead. They have low, low, low overhead. Exactly what I'm talking about. They keep their expenses very low. In their personal life, they cut to their baseline as low as possible. And when they start their business, they do the same with their business. They keep the expenses super low. They don't go rent an office immediately. They work from their house. I still work from my apartment to avoid paying rent. They don't buy expensive furniture. They don't go buy new computers and new technology. They use whatever they have already. They cut all the expenses they can from their life. They start small. They stay lean, thin, low overhead, low cost, and then they grow. The big one, they talk less and they do more. They take action every day. It's action, action, action every day. Action. They're doing things. You know, they're, they're constantly testing things and trying things and launching new things, new products, new services. They are what I say, what I call this in the game. They are in the game. They're playing the game of business. It's just like a sport. You know, there are people who talk about sports, you know, like me, I talk about soccer and the World Cup, but I'm not in the game. I'm not playing. Ronaldo's in the game. You know, he's in there. He's practicing. He's playing in the games constantly. Every day he's practicing his skills or playing. All those players are, all the pros, those really successful players, right? They're in the game. They're not talkers. They're doers. Maybe they talk later, but they are doers mostly. Well, business is just a game too. It's a financial game. And this is the key thing. You've got to get in the game. Stop thinking so much. Stop talking so much. You don't need a 50-page business plan. Get in the game, even in a tiny, small way. Get in the game, and that's how you learn. Cut your overhead. Cut your expenses. Everything as cheap as possible, so you're financially fearless. So you need very little to survive financially. That makes you fearless. Then you just make decisions. You try things. You're in the game. You're in the game every day. You try something. It doesn't work. You're, in, you're still in the game. Next month, you try something else. It works a little better. Great. Improve it. Keep going. You're in the game. You're in the game. You're in the game. That's how you learn. That's how you grow. That's how you learn these skills to be a great freelancer or entrepreneur. You learn it by doing it. You're not going to learn it at university or college. Definitely not. You're not going to learn it just from reading books. You're not going to learn it from talking about it. The big office is not going to help you. Investment money will definitely not help you. It will hurt you. Unless you're experienced already, then maybe you're going to do great. But if you're doing this for the first time, forget investment money. Forget it. It will hurt you. It will make you lazy and you're just going to lose it all and it's going to be a big disaster. Forget that. Get lean. Cut your expenses. Get in the game. Stay in the game. That's how you do it. That's what real entrepreneurs do. That's what real freelancers do. That's what you are going to do.